Hey guys, Arissa Dia here, and I'm back with another episode of Otomania where I talk about anything and everything Otome. On today's episode, I'm going to be reviewing an anime called Bonjour Sweet Love Patisserie. I have a special connection with this anime because I actually found out about it at a Crunchyroll panel I went to at Comic-Con New York where they announced that they were going to be adding this anime way back in like 2014. <laughs> The anime is quick to watch. There are 24 episodes, but they're only 5 minutes long, so you can binge the entire show in roughly 2 hours, which is exactly what I did before I sat down to write the script for this episode. It is based off of an Otome game by the same name that was in development while the show was actually airing, which is interesting because typically the game is released way before it gets an anime adaptation. The plot of the show is very simple. It is centered around a girl called Haruna Sayuri, who is accepted in the Florier Academy, an elite confectionery school on scholarship. It is pretty slice of life and mainly just follows Sayuri's life as she gets closer to her teachers and her classmates while learning skills to become a master baker and while trying to stay in the good graces of the overbearing headmistress. It even has the obligatory beach episodes, which honestly are probably my favorite episodes in the entire show. Towards the end of the show, they do try to give the show an actual plot, apart from just being a slice of life, by adding a baking competition that Sayuri and her romantic interests must compete in. Honestly, I think the show could have done without this part, mainly because it's kind of just thrown in for the drama, and I don't think it really needed it. It kind of felt like the writers just said, oh yeah, here's that plot you were looking for that's kind of just crammed at the end with no real purpose. Also, it was a bit far-fetched to the point where even the opposing team were asking how Sayuri's team pulled off what they did. I think that if they had just either dropped the competition and made the goal of the show her graduation, or if they had added a few more hints about the competition throughout the show, it would have made more sense and been better overall. That was my only real issue with the plot. Apart from that, I actually think that the writers did an excellent job creating a good narrative within the short five minute episodes that they had to work with. The characters in the show were really fun and enjoyable. I was surprised by how much you got to know the characters within such a short amount of time and by how much the characters actually got to grow and develop within that time. Sayuri is a sweet girl and a very hard worker. She takes time to help out her friends and her teachers and is always striving to learn more. She's a pretty normal Otome protagonist, I would say. She actually kind of reminds me of Utapri's Haruka, but with baking skills instead of music skills. Kodugi Ryo is Sayuri's classmate. Ryo is the tsundere of the group, but of course he has a spot for Sayuri. He comes from a long line of talented bakers. He was my favorite character in the show by far, probably because he's everything I want in a man. Hot? Sundre and an expert at making sweets. They say the best way to a person's heart is through their stomach, and the show kind of just proved that that was true in my case. Mitsuki Aoi is one of Sayuri's teachers. He's a chocolatier and has earned the nickname Prince of Chocolate. His family owns a chocolate shop, which the other characters occasionally visit from time to time. Mitsuki is definitely the prince character of the show, He's very good looking and has the manners to match. Gilbert Hanafusa is one of the other teachers. He's from France but came to Japan because he was inspired by his grandmother's love for the country. Gilbert is very bubbly and energetic and very curious about all things Japanese. He's definitely the sunshine character within the group. Yoshinosuke Suzumi is the last teacher in the group. He's best known for making traditional Japanese sweets. He rarely shows expressions, but is very kind and is always willing to help his students out. He's the serious and stoic one of the bunch, but he's also often the first one to get caught up in Gilbert's crazy ideas. There are a handful of secondary characters that make the show more fun too, such as Mochizuki Ran, Sayuri's best friend, and Sanomiya Subaki, Sayuri's rival, so to say. 
these two help make Sayuri's time at Florier a lot more interesting, sometimes in good ways and sometimes in bad ways. For being such a short show, the cast of characters were really well created. They were a fun and colorful bunch to watch and get to know. Overall, I thought this show was really well done given how short it was and the fact that it was based off of a game that hadn't even been released yet by the time the anime was airing. Honestly, I think this show might be one of my favorite Otome to rewatch because it has just these really cute, sweet moments mixed with just really great comedy. I feel like it gets overlooked a lot because it's short and it's also not as well known, but I highly recommend it. If you like Otome or Shoujo or Romance or Slice of Life, I would say definitely check out Bonjour Sweet Love Patisserie. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought of it, if you've seen it, and maybe who your favorite character was, or if you have a certain treat that you really like to make or eat. I know part of why I liked the show was I actually almost went to a confectionery school because I used to want to be a baker, so I'm always interested in hearing if people have a certain treat that they are either really into making or really like to eat. And if you have any suggestions for future Otomania episodes, feel free to leave them down in the comments below as well. I'm trying to gear this series towards you guys, the viewers, so if you have anything you want to see, please leave it down in the comments below and I will try my hardest to get it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I release more Otomania videos or just other fun videos on my channel. I post Otomania videos every other Monday on my channel, so be sure to check them out. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye.